So today we're going to think about um, how we can generate uh, electricity uh, from magnetic fields. In fact, we're going to do a trick where we generate electricity from the Earth's magnetic field. So let's see how this is going to work. So our trick is to generate electricity from the Earth's magnetic field. Um, now, what we need to know is that when you put a magnetic field through a conducting loop, like here's just a, a circle here with an area of pi r squared, then um, if we change the amount of magnetic field going through this loop, we can generate an electric current running around this loop. And the way we quantify the amount of magnetic field is with something called magnetic flux. And all this is, is just the flux is just equal to the magnetic field um, times the area, okay, in this case here. So what we need to do is change this magnetic flux, and then we can generate electricity. So uh, the way we write this in a formula is we say that we can generate a electric potential based on a magnetic flux that's changing with time. And this electric potential we're generating is called uh, EMF. So how do we change this magnetic flux? Like, What are the tools that we have available? Well, we could change the magnetic field. That's one thing we can do. We could change the area of our loop. Um, another thing we can do is just kind of rotate this ring. So starting up here, we rotate it by some angle theta. And now we're going to have less uh, magnetic field going through it because the area that this magnetic field sees is smaller by this uh, cosine theta term. Another thing we could do is put more loops in our uh, magnetic field, and more loops is going to give us more amount of uh, magnetic flux because the area is basically increasing. All these loops each contribute to the area. So now what we're going to do is do some experiments and see if we can see some of these effects. So here I have our setup here. And let's see what I've got this magnet. Um, and with this magnet, I can kind of put this magnet here. And what we're going to do is get some loops. And let's see, here I've got a loop. Um, I can attach it to my uh, attach it to my uh, setup here. There we go. And with this loop, what I can do is see what type of voltage is generated in this um, in this loop. And we're going to use this kind of scope that we see up here. So this uh, this scope tells us. Uh, the voltage that's produced. There's some gain on this, so the you know although it says that it's five volts on this uh, yellow channel here, we've got um, some multiplication factors. But I can take this loop, and now what we're going to do is move it in our magnetic field. Here's this uh, magnetic field, and we see that we can generate some amount of voltage here. Okay, now that wasn't very much, so let's see if we increase the number of loops. You know, this is going to increase the magnetic flux. And put this in, and we see that we can make a much bigger, uh, generate a much bigger EMF by doing this. Okay, that's cool. Um, in fact, I can take this here, which has many loops. I don't know if this is a thousand loops. And put this one on. And in fact, this one is going to make such a big magnetic flux through so many loops that all I need to do is just kind of change the area by squeezing it. And just by uh, squeezing this loop, we see that we can generate a lot of, of this EMF. Okay. So um, now this principle of how this works is used in uh, electric generators. Basically, all you do is to make a regular source of electricity, uh, I can take my magnet, 
here. And I can uh, make a, a kind of a loop of wires. And then we just basically spin this. We're going to put it a little bit closer. And we just spin this thing around. And we start to see something that looks kind of like a sine wave. Not perfect. Um, and this looks like an alternating current uh, generator. So we're just basically, and what we're doing here is changing the angle of the loop with respect to the magnetic field. So here, there's a lot of flux going through. Here, there's basically zero flux going through. And it's the change in flux that generates the electricity. Okay, so now I promised you that we were going to generate uh, electricity using uh, the Earth's magnetic field. Now, the Earth's magnetic field is quite weak. You know, it's not something we, it doesn't magnetize nails, for instance. It's kind of weak. So we're going to need, uh, to make this flux bigger, we're going to need a big loop. So here, I have a big loop. Uh, we can see how big this loop is. It's something like 10 meters squared. So meters long and a few meters tall and with this big loop I can uh, have this loop sort of facing in this direction so this is the direction of the uh, magnetic north pole and so what we're going to do is increase the size of this loop and then decrease it down to zero and make a maximal change in magnetic flux and see if we can see this thing register up on our display. So here we go. So here we go. We see that we can actually make a quite a nice uh, sinusoidal uh, voltage, basically coming from the Earth's magnetic field. So we're spinning a loop. Magnetic field is coming through this loop. The flux is changing and we're generating an electric potential. Of course, this isn't much voltage. Uh, I have actually have a high gain setting on here to amplify this signal, but it's something, and uh, maybe that's uh, what you're looking for. Here we have it. We've shown how by changing uh, the magnetic flux through a loop, we can generate uh, electric potential. And we've even been able to generate this electric potential from the Earth's magnetic field. So it's not magic, it's physics, and I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today. Um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.